Hello guys, this is Tony and today we will jump into consensus algorithms. Uh, I will explain them from different points of view, I will talk about the basics and more advanced stuff about them. So let's start. Uh, Bitcoin, I believe if you found this video you heard about it. Uh, it is a cryptocurrency based on DLT technology. Uh, DLT means Distributed Ledger Technology. Uh, this innovative technology allows to create new sets of coins by performing some tasks. Uh, those tasks uh, are there to secure the whole network from malicious means. Uh, the need of securing the network is deriving from double spend problem. Uh, what is it? In the centralized system, one could spend its token many times before some parties could check this and perform security means. Of course, we are talking about the technology without consensus algorithms. Uh, we have them to perform the double spend problem checks. After implementing those algorithms, only first transaction is valid or the transaction with the higher fees depend on the network. So the consensus is between all parties to establish which transaction is valid and which isn't. The first ever consensus algorithm is the Bitcoin one, and it is called proof of work. It was used in another field before, but in cryptocurrency it shines. Other cryptocurrencies using it are Ethereum, Dash, Litecoin, Zcash, Monero, and many, many more. Mining is the word describing the process of creating new coins on the proof of work blockchain. What we need to mine on proof of work is a computer synchronized with a blockchain and running the calculations. We are running calculations on two ingredients. One is challenge, uh, which derives uh, from the previous blocks and some of transaction in current block, and it is known to us. Second one is a proof. It is a random number that the processor is choosing. There is a calculation running on those two ingredients and it is called hashing function. In result, we have a hash. For simplifying, let's assume it is five characters hexadecimal hash. And let's assume that current difficulty orders us to find the number with four characters at the beginning that are zeros. So we need to randomly choose proof and run this hashing function over it until we got a hash starting with four zeros. Uh, the person who will do it first uh, wins the race and got a block reward. The term gigahashes or terahashes per second is the measure on how fast processor can run those calculations. We see that many top coins are using it, so what is main pro of this consensus algorithm? Definitely, it is hard to trick the system using it. Uh, network security is very good, double spend is almost impossible in main chain. The person with intention to change the outcome of previous block, he would need to make a work against the whole network trying to fight the proof for previous, poisoned block, and for the current one. Using the same power to secure the network would bring much more outcome than playing it dirty. Uh, so what's the biggest con of proof of work? Definitely it is energy usage. Looking at the chart, usage of energy while mining Bitcoin and Ethereum is one of the 65th place in terms of energy usage, treating it as a country and securing one transaction is as energy consuming as the electricity needed to run average USA household for several days. Another con is the high need for special computing entities like GPUs or ASICs, and those are hard, hard to get. Just looking at the Nvidia stock chart is telling a lot about the mm, requisition of computing hardware. Other problem we are approaching in proof of work system is possibility to spam the network with transactions uh, which delays most of them and rises all fees. Uh, this problem exists mostly in 1.0 cryptocurrencies. Uh, those are based on Bitcoin code. Uh, it happens because miners aren't going to mine transaction with lower fees, which is obvious. 
Another consensus algorithm I would like to talk about is proof of capacity. It is hardware type of consensus similar to proof of work. Uh, basically, uh, user is renting his drive space, all the resources are plotted and every plot is giving him more chances to win the reward for securing the blockchain. Uh, contrary to proof-of-work algorithms, uh, this work doesn't need to be useless. Uh, plots can contain backups of some libraries and media, so it may be used to solve real-life problems. Uh, the dangers of this consensus algorithm derives from big players providing cloud services uh, they could easily take over the current networks. Also, the data plotted on the hard drive is pretty easy to steal. Uh, cryptocurrencies using those algorithms are Burst, Permacoin, and Starch. Okay, next consensus algorithm that is earning a lot of traction recently, Proof of Stake. Uh, what user needs in this system to mine and to secure the network? Mm, just the standard computer with, with constant internet connection and a set of coins frozen for the time of mining. Just assume the network with 100 tokens and one user, John, with 10 tokens. He will have 10% chances to mine every next block uh, this is the problem. Users with old big sets of coins uh, have more chances to get richer and the difference between big and small players is getting bigger. Uh, many proof-of-stake coins are already pre-mined and users are competing only for fees in the system. There are many different security means provided to prevent from network monopolization. In sum, user need to wait few days after mining block until he can mine again. Uh, smaller resources could get highest probability after let's say 90 days. Uh, this system is fairly secure. Attacker would need 51 percent of all network tokens to take control over the network. Uh, the problem is emerging also in possibilities of voting for invalid chains by users and in this situation consensus can't be made uh, and block remains empty. That's why there are additional security means like proof of burn uh, where a user needs to transfer his resources to specific address and is punished for all attacks by confiscating his resources by the network. Most well-known cryptocurrencies using proof-of-stake system are NXT, Peercoin, and soon Ethereum. I will end this video with presentation about proof-of-importance consensus algorithm. Currently, only NAM platform is using it, and it being 3.0 cryptocurrency, we could see that this consensus algorithm is highly sophisticated and is taking a lot of things into consideration. There is no mining per se in proof of importance uh, algorithm. Instead, there is a process called harvesting as all coins are available and harvesters earn only fees from the block they help secure. Proof of importance is deriving from proof of stake algorithm and has many securities that makes this consensus more fair for all users, incentivizing users that are contributing to blockchain. Uh, what is this contribution about? Uh, mostly doing valid transactions for more than 1000 ZEM. A user is gaining important score that is multiplying his vested amount of ZEM and giving the final result. Uh, we can see on the chart that the weight depends on the time of making last transaction, so people that spend their resources are getting more chances to harvest based on this important score. Also, user needs at least 10,000 vested, vested ZEM on his account. Every day, 10% of unvested ZEM is becoming vested. Because of it, uh, there is less probability of attacks on the network. Additional pro of this solution is no need of running your own node. You can delegate your harvesting and harvest on the existing node but by just providing that you have the ZEM on your account. It saves a lot of electricity as the result. Of course, there are always people that want to take advantage over their roles and that's why uh, there is implemented algorithm as a backbone of the NAM proof of important system. It derives from page rank algorithms and detects the loops in the system. 
User that sends 5000 ZAM and getting nothing in exchange gains important score, where user making loop transaction is losing his important score. As we can see, there are many algorithms out there. There are some I didn't talk about, like delegated proof of stake and other less used. Uh, thanks for watching. I made this video based on article I have read with my friend Tomasz, although we didn't get any reward from them for doing it. And I think there should be some gratification for him just for helping me. Uh, this article was very popular in Polish cryptocurrency medias and was a great promotion for them in Poland. So I created special account. I will paste the QR code here on the screen and address is in the description. So please send some small tips for Tomasz. I will give him private key for this account if the funds will start coming in. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what do you think about this format of video. Also, what is your top consensus algorithm? See you later. Bye.